We've got four videos in this little series on cognitive load theory. Watch them all to get a better understanding. Cognitive load theory tries to describe how the human mind processes new information. We have a very limited capacity for dealing with new information, anywhere from three to seven elements. This is particularly tricky if the elements are interactive. Element interactivity means the degree to which the parts of knowledge have to be learnt together to make sense. For example, learning words in a foreign language has low interactivity. You can learn one at a time. Learning to drive has high interactivity because you need to process knowledge about changing gears, looking for traffic, maintaining road position all at once until some become automated. If a learning situation presents material in which we have to process too much at once, we experience cognitive overload. Cognitive overload impairs or prevents learning, so we as teachers need to avoid this condition in our students. We do this by designing instructional materials and activities that avoid exceeding our students' available capacity for working with new knowledge. Watch the next video to learn about the difference between long-term and working memory.